Hey everybody, it is CJ Johnson coming to you from beautiful Lake Tahoe. It's a little quiet, but we're going to have a water skier go by here in uh, just a second on our boat. Uh, it's August morning, so I'm sure we're going to get more company maybe as this video goes on, but it's such a beautiful day. I just couldn't resist coming down here and showing you a little bit about my world and what goes on here wanted to talk a little bit more about those three tips that I shared with you in terms of recovery. If you're an athlete, your ability to recover between workouts definitely impacts your training schedule as well as your, your body and your ability to do your sport. If you're not an athlete, that recovery is also essential just in terms of how you feel. And there's really three things that you can do that will help to make that recovery better. The first one is sleep. I'm not going to talk a lot about sleep. I have posted to another blog where I give you some great tips. Please check it out on how to get more sleep. But the question I want you to ask yourself is this, is are you getting enough sleep? Um, if you're 18 to 64, it's recommended that you get somewhere between seven to nine hours of sleep. When I am speaking and I ask that question of people, less than a third of the room raises their hand. And I believe that. I think it's a struggle for people to get sleep. So if you need a little bit more on the sleep side, check out that other blog post. The second thing are baths. I kind of fell into this one on accident. Uh, I, I ski and I love to ski, but I get really cold when I'm outside. So what I found myself doing when I got home from the ski hill is I'd make this nice warm tub and I'd throw in some Epsom salts with a, an essential oil. I like lavender. I have a blend called Unwind that I really like that makes me feel great. And I throw those in the tub and I get into the tub and my body got warm. Well, not only did I find that my body was getting warm from that, I found that my muscle soreness was less and less and less. So even in the summertime, I've continued that habit of taking baths and uh, using those Epsom salts with that warm water. I don't use hot water, just warm water. Really makes those muscles feel better and recover after a hard workout. The last thing, and frankly, I got to tell you this, it's probably my most least favorite thing is yoga. Again, I picked this up really inside of ski season. I always did a little bit of stretching, but more as an athlete, right? A little bit before, a little bit after. Um, I didn't really have stretching as part of my routine. But the older I got and some of the changes that I saw happening inside of my body, I knew that it was time to add regular stretching in my routine kind of came on an accident. Uh, at the ski area, we have a yoga studio, and sometimes the traffic, especially on the weekends, is just horrific getting out. So instead of sitting in traffic for what could be an hour, I'd go over to the yoga studio and take a yoga class so to, to kill time. And what I found is as I'm taking this yoga class, it would really free up, especially for me, my hips and my lower back, which tend to pay a pretty big price when you're doing skiing. And I felt great. Now, I got to be honest, I don't really like the pace of yoga. I'm kind of a much more go at it, go at it, go at it girl. But by doing yoga and mobility, and I don't have to do it for an hour at a time, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes, even 15 minutes, by adding stretching to my routine, it's really helped me. And I, and I do that religiously at least two times a week, sometimes three, depending upon how I'm feeling. The other thing that I like to do is I jump on that foam roller. A uh, foam roller is great, uh, helps you to release that tissue and helps me to feel a lot better. I use a, a system, Trigger Point Therapy, and I put a link in there uh, in, to Trigger Point Therapy in there for you. Uh, it gives me a little bit more added benefit than just a regular foam roller. So I hope that these three tips can help you in your recovery between workouts because again, I think it's essential for either your performance or how your body feels. I post information on almost a daily basis. Uh, I do a lot of it here from Lake Tahoe. So if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that down, uh, down below and then you won't miss any of my latest updates because I'm here to help you train smart, live bold, and age well.